A test bench for diagnostics of automotive climate system compressors operating on R134A and R1234YF refrigerants. Before starting, fill the test bench with the refrigerant. Open the maintenance door and connect the filling station to the service fittings. Fill the test bench with the refrigerant following the operation instruction for the filling station. Upon finishing, disconnect the hoses from the test bench and close the maintenance door. Screw the oil filling cap off and drain the oil into a clear container. If the oil contains wear debris, it means the compressor must be sent for repair and no preliminary diagnostics is required. Let's take another compressor and drain oil into the container. The oil in this compressor is in good condition. So add from 20 to 30 grams of diagnostic oil in there. Pick the appropriate fittings and fix them on the compressor. Turn the test bench on. Mount the compressor on the mounting face of the bench. Pass the chain over the compressor and insert it into the chain fixer. Press tension chain in the main menu. Latch the belt over the compressor pulley. Press tension belt in the main menu. Check the belt tension manually. Subjective assessment. Stop the belt tightening by pressing tension belt one more time. Connect the wires to the compressor terminal. Adherence of electric polarity is not required. Connect hoses LP and HP to the appropriate fittings as follows. HP first, LP next. Place the temperature sensor into one of the compressor mounting, attaching holes, the closest to the compressor discharge site. Before starting the diagnostics, pump the air off. Press air pumping in the main menu to do so. Wait for the process to finish. Enter the automatic test menu. Press start to launch the diagnostic procedure. The test bench will perform the following test in successive order. Vacuum test, clutch and valve test, capacity test, noise test. During the diagnostic procedure, messages instructing on the position of LP and HP valves will appear on the screen. Upon completion of each test, the results are displayed as follows. OK for a positive test result, failed for a negative one. During the noise test, the bench will gradually increase the speed of the compressor pulley. The operator must detect whether there are any unwanted sounds emanated from the compressor. If the abnormal noises are present, press OK. No noise, press No. Upon completion of all tests, press Results. The Diagnostic Results window will appear. The test report can be saved and printed out later. Press refrigerant pumping in the main menu to pump the refrigerant off. Dismount the compressor from the test bench. In case the compressor repair involves the replacement of any movable parts, its post-maintenance run is absolutely necessary. 
otherwise where debris resulted from the components breaking in will damage the system. To perform a post-maintenance run of the compressor, do the following. Add from 20 to 30 grams of diagnostic oil into the compressor. Fix fittings. Mount the compressor on the test bench. Select manual mode and make settings. Press valve or clutch to start the procedure. During the running procedure, the compressor temperature shouldn't exceed 60 degrees centigrade. Stop the process after 10-15 minutes. Pump the refrigerant off and dismount the compressor from the bench. Drain the oil and assess its condition. If the oil contains wear products, the procedure must be continued. If the oil looks good and no signs of wear are traced, finish the procedure. Open the maintenance door. Connect the filling station to the service fittings and pump the refrigerant off. Drain condensed water from the tank. Disconnect the terminal of the condensate level sensor. Screw the tank cap off. Disconnect the tank from the test bench by pushing it up. Empty the tank. Put the tank back. Put the cap on and screw it. Connect the terminal. Replace the filter when message Replace filter is displayed. Use a wrench to turn the filter cap counterclockwise until it is disconnected from the filter bowl. Check the condition of all rings. Replace if necessary. Replace the filter element. Put the filter cap back in its place and screw it clockwise.